Have you really seen or come across controversies of partners that don't post co-partner while he or she is celebrating but to rather post church members, mommy G.O., that G.O. or colleagues in the office and you are wondering if it should be that way. This video is for you just to watch this video and join us in contributing with your opinion. <laughs> Yeah, hello everyone. Thank you for joining my program again today. How are you all doing? I hope you are doing very well. Thank you for joining me. I've missed some of you. I've not been regular. Yeah, I've not been regular. It's not I mean, balanced well. I've not been regular, but it's not intentional. But I'm glad I'm here today. So my supporters, even when I'm off, coming in and going off, some are still supporting. I thank you so much for your support, but many have left my channel why now please come back okay if you have left my channel if i've lost your support for me if for any reason you've not been visiting my channel you've not been supporting watching liking sharing or commenting on my videos please come back okay support your girl support your girl don't allow your girl channel to go down hmm? thank you and um everyone everyone my members um, I thank you, I appreciate you, and most of you that do reach out privately when necessary. Thank you so much. This video today, I want to talk about partners. I don't post co partners when they are celebrating. Maybe birthday, anniversary, or any occasion whatsoever. But they post their church, mommy G.O., daddy G.O., and colleagues. Anyway, it wasn't actually supposed to be an issue. Not everyone likes posting anything on social media. It was not going, going to be an issue if you don't post anybody. If you don't like posting, if even yourself you don't post. Maybe one, once a while you come on. Not everyone is a social media person. Not everyone likes posting and not everyone likes um, some noise, loud, you know. But it is a problem when you post another person, your church member, anything your mommy G.O. or the G.O. wants to do, you will post, which is not bad. But let me tell you, as partners, it is meant to be jealous of the other side. If you don't post him, but you post that the G.O., each time he wants to celebrate birthday, each time he has something about himself or his family to celebrate, and you'll be the first to post him, you post you create awareness of that, you advertise him, you say nice things about him, but you don't post your partner, you don't post your hobby. Yeah, especially married people. As per relationship partners, nobody goes in about anything. Yes. As for relationship partners, yeah, post your fiance. Post your fiance. But nobody owes anybody anything. If I don't want to post, you don't force me. You won't force me. And if you don't post me, I won't force you. Because you know there are some relationships. Not everyone wants to announce it. Maybe you, as um, co-partner, relationship partner, likes loud, likes noise, likes coming out publicly to announce everything you want to do. But your co-partner may not like that. So that is why you know, you know, you know, not every relationship ends in marriage. That is why not everyone likes announcement. So you announce things that at the end of the day they will not see you together again. It may not work again. You may. Not actually be seen together again so not everyone likes that so might feel so shy or ashamed of themselves if after tomorrow after all the polls and noise and announcement on social media it doesn't work out again and i think it's important as, as scared of security for security reasons you know so they may not want to post them or let, to avoid snatchers you know and some even oh well well go as far as thinking maybe maybe some people might be diabolically uh, you know, jealous, I want to do something, you know, that aside. So, if our relationship partners, you are still dead, you are still cutting, you don't post each other, I don't have a problem with that. So, no one owes anybody anything as per that posting. So, if you say, I don't post you, and I'll ask you, what if you were not to marry tomorrow? So, I'll post you as what? Boyfriend? No. So, if you are still dating, nobody owes anybody anything. If you choose to post the person, that's okay. If you don't want to post the person, that's okay. So if anyone complains, that's your business. But here, I'm talking about my weight partners. You know, you are a woman. Let me start from that side. And you want to claim you don't like posting people on social media. But each time you're that G.O. in the church, 
want to do bad there. You post. In fact, you will go and design a very nice picture. You curate a very nice post. You make a very nice message, prayers, articles for him. Rendering praises, you know, beautifying things, everything that has to do with him. And you post it on social media. And you are there to reply any comment anybody makes about that, appreciating them for appreciating what you did. But your happy for what has never appeared on your page. You know, he celebrates birthdays, you know, his anniversaries come and go. I mean, your anniversaries with him comes and goes. You know, you don't post. So he, he, he gets promotion in the office, you don't post him. He gets awarded, rewarded, you don't post him. He gets honored, you know, you don't post him. Fine, maybe you don't like posting. But then your mommy, that is, I'm talking about the side of wives, gets a kind of a promotion. You'll be the first to post to appreciate. You praise him, daddy, this, daddy, 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 you know. Get me right. I'm not saying it is wrong for you to post your daddy G.O. Or to post your pastor. Or to post your evangelist. Or to post a church member that is so dear to you. That is doing something. Or the person that has really helped you so much with prayers. And it worked for you. Or the person is doing better at least. It's your own way of appreciating. It's not wrong. But if you don't post your hobby. It is wrong. You know why? But if you have a hobby that has no problem with that. Perfect. Yeah, exactly. If you have a hobby that has no problem of you announcing, posting, advertising, your pastor, your daddy G.O., your evangelist, your man of God, your prayer warrior, you know. If you have a hobby that has no problem with that, that's okay. But if you have this hobby that has been complaining, you don't post me, but you keep posting your evangelist, your pastor, and, and, and you, you want to defend it. You are wrong. You have nothing to defend. You have no point. You have nothing to defend. Yes, exactly. Humans are created to be jealous. And let me tell you something. If you have that partner, that hobby, that isn't jealous of you doing that, he doesn't love you. Truly. You want to doubt that? He doesn't love you. Because if he starts showing that sign of envy, you know, over that which you do, that means he loves you. He doesn't want to share your love with another person. He doesn't want to share with another person. He doesn't want what he thinks he has with you to be shared or to be accord to another person or what he thinks you should be doing for him to be accord for another person that's what it means but then let me ask you how good do you feel hmm? how good do you feel not posting your partner birthday maybe in the house you wish him happy birthday but you go to facebook to post your pastor wish all the good things in the world under the post don't get me right. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm asking you how good it is when you have a partner that cherishes something like that, but you don't do it for him, but you do it for your pastor or your daddy or in the church. It is wrong. No matter the angle you want to teach, you want to preach, you want to talk about it, you want to reason about it, you want to think about it, it is wrong. But if your partner doesn't have a problem with that, fine. Even if he doesn't have a problem with that, let me tell you the implication. Each time anyone visits your page, it is no if 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 it is um you share gospel you share sermon you know you share preachings from your past it is not bad because you are for you are helping to circulate the word of god you know you have to circulate that you have to preach through him by i mean by yeah by posting his you know this this sunday sermon is so awesome it's so wonderful it's so touching let me share it please so that others out there would listen and um be touched and be blessed you share it that's fine you post the video that's fine but i'm talking about random praises lovely words about him or his birthday or his um ceremonial days of promotion elevation award and all that it's really bad days anniversaries you know you're a jew or you're a jew are doing anniversary you post them you design nice, nice pictures what's their picture you make frames you, you, you advertise, you announce, you appreciate them on all sorts of uh, forms of social media. And someone is going through this and the person never saw anything about your husband. And the person has gone to your status and seen that you are married. Let me tell you, the implication, it tells a lot about you. Yes, exactly. Don't tell me, forget about social media. I'm not part of those that say, it doesn't, don't care about what you see on social media. It doesn't define, it defines you. 
It defines you. I can't possibly go nude on social media and ask someone to judge me with that. That is, it, 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 even if I am decent, but I have, I have, I have exposed myself out there to be indecent. If I do good inside, I am that holy and sent inside, but out there I've portrayed indecency. That is the way the world defines me. Alright? So if I go to your page, I will see things to define you if I don't know you. Yes, exactly. So don't say, forget about what you see on social media. It doesn't mean it means. So if I go through your social media and see that things you post there, everything is, well, Daddy Jigo, Daddy Jigo, my pastor, my evangelist, my man of God, my deliverer, my this and that. That's fine. But I, I keep scrolling. I've not seen any single post that has to do with husband. Does he not have a birthday? Does he not have an anniversary day? Does he not have something to celebrate? celebrate? And you don't post that. Or your pastor, pastor. It, the only thing I want to say is if I go through this and run down, the first thing that will come to my mind is you don't regard your husband. Yes. Prove me wrong. You don't regard your husband. That is the first thing that will come to my mind. The second thing is um, you have no much love. You prefer your church. You love your church or things of your church than your home. Yes. Unless your man is the type that doesn't want social media. Like I said, I've, I've said it before. That is fine. He doesn't, don't post me there. Yeah, go ahead and pay your pastor. That is okay. Even if I've judged you, I've got it. I will, I will still judge you first. You know, I will still judge you. If your man doesn't want the social media thing, then reduce how you post other men on your, on your page. Yeah. If your man, my hobby doesn't like anything social media, him, post me, post me that. So, I can't, if he doesn't like that, is it not who, when someone asks me, when you come close, you would know. If you don't come close, you wouldn't know. And when you see me posting other men, my pastor, my this, my dad, my dad, my dad, and not once, not twice, that's what occupies all the spaces on my page. And you think, you would, when you join by saying, this one has no regard to the husband, you might even say, maybe they aren't together again. Yes, you are right by saying that. So if I even explain that my hobby doesn't like that, you must have judged me. That is the implication. That is the implication, yeah. Before I explain that he doesn't like that, you must have judged me. So if he doesn't like much social media announcement, posting, and all that, then we'll decide how you post other men. Do other things necessary on your page. All right? So by, by, by doing this, and the, the little bit of when you have this man that loves this, but you don't do it for him, but you do it for other men there. So he would be jealous, he would be envy, and this would bring... A kind of issues between you and him so so and what i'm saying is that one this is an issue going on now you know so this same man you posted with that person your husband is the same person you run to to go and report your husband your husband, my husband is making troubles with me in the house because i posted my my pastor when i don't want to go and make my report the man asked someone you are a husband i want to say it to his face that how would he feel if your wife post me instead of you on my birthday and never posted you so what do you have to defend? Because I passed on. Many what? You know. So call a spare a spare. It is wrong. Vis a vis. Even some men that don't post their wives. It is mommy G.O., my pastor, your secretary, your colleague, your PA, your this. If no matter how good that your female colleague is to you. If you don't post your wife on her birthdays, if you don't post her on your anniversary, if you don't post her on her promotion, anything that you have to do with celebration of her, you don't post her. But when this your co colleague of yours is doing something you post, birthday, promotion, anniversary, in fact, you even go as well posting her and her husband on the anniversary day, but you never posted yours. You think she wouldn't have issues with it. She would have issues with that. So if she says that doesn't like you, her appearing on social media, then don't reduce the way you post your female, female, female uh, counterpart. Yeah, reduce the way you post them. So that's what I'm saying vis a vis. So let me know your own opinion on the comment section. But that is what it is what it is. That is what it just is. No matter what we say, what we think, what we reason it. It is bad for someone to come to your page. It's all about your male colleagues. Not about your boss. In fact, I didn't even mention that your boss. It's all about your boss. All your pages. It's all about your pastor. It's all about your um that G O. It's all about your male colleagues. It's all about your mommy G O, your female pastor, female colleagues, your PA secretary, boss. That has been nice to you, which is which we appreciate that. But you don't post your partner. And your partner likes you posting, you don't post. I don't know why you don't do that. Do you know that someone went as far as telling me that her hobby isn't presentable enough for her to be posted? That the picture of her hobby doesn't befit her. You know, because she looks so elegant, yeah, so classy. So she sees her husband as not befitting enough to be, be to appear on her page. So instead of that, she prefers posting her boss. This is what 
talking about that prefers posting her post on his occasion days. But according to her, the hobby loves to be posted, to be announced, but he isn't presentable enough to befit her status. So nobody would go and say, is that whom she got married to? How dare you? How dare you? How does this sound to you? How does it sound to you? Anyway, for any reason best known to you, you think it isn't perfect for you to post. I'm not forcing you. But post posting your um male colleague, male counterpart, for whether from church or from office, would cause him more pains. Would get him thinking. Because he loves to be announced, and don't announce him, you announce others. Do you understand? So if your hubby or your wife loves to be posted on birthday days, why won't you do that? And if anything they love you that you don't want to post it, then deal with that. But by posting your female or your male counterpart, why you don't post your hobby? You are creating more issues, more enmity in your marriage. That's what you are doing. So that is my own take here. Stop that. Stop that. Start posting them if they love doing it. And for any reason you don't want to post them anywhere, deal with that. But reduce how you go about posting your your colleague, your church member, your pastor, community, and all that. So let me know your own um, opinion on the comment section as I see you again on my next video. Thank you guys. I appreciate all your support. And don't forget to give this video a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't share this video to help whole next to listen to it. See you again on my next video guys. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you.